In the last video, we created a GUI that had some of the different button light controls that are part of ScalaFX, but they weren't interactive with the user. So now we want to add that. Here was the GUI that we set up. We have a plane button, some check boxes, some radio buttons, and some things called toggle buttons. And the radio buttons and the toggle buttons can be put inside of these toggle groups so that only one of them can be checked at a time. Now we want to add code that interacts with these things. Now, as we've already seen with the plain button, we can set on action to be equal to some lambda that takes an action event. And in this case, I added the label so that I could set its text to be something. So we've done that type of interactivity. What about for the other button type things? Well, it turns out that on action will work for all of them. So we could take these three lines and paste them and make this be what we call it, CB1. CB1 on action. CB1 clicked. And in this case, we could also put in here CB1 dot selected dot apply because the selected will tell us whether or not we have that particular checkbox selected. Let's double check that. We'll run it. And here we go. Clicking the button, we get button clicked. Checkbox one. Every time it toggles, it goes between true and false. Okay. I could add the same thing to checkbox two, but that doesn't really add much of anything uh, for us. So what about radio buttons? Well, turns out that the radio button is the same way and we can check it's selected. There is an interesting thing about this though. So in the case of the radio button, and it turns out this is also true of the toggle button. So we can do this for the toggle button as well. For those the button changes not only when you have an action event, but when you have an action on one of the others as well. So when I click here, it says RB1 clicked. When I go to radios two and three though, note that this never said that it was false. Okay? Now I could have handlers on two and three that do things when they get selected, but the on action is only for when I actually click that thing. Okay, not when it gets unselected because something else in the group was there. Now, of course, on the toggle buttons, I can turn them off by clicking on it twice, and so I can get either state. But in the radio button, there is no way that I can get the off state for radio one without having some type of more complex system where I'm listening to everything, at least using on action. The way we deal with that is to listen for changes, much like we did for our text elements, the radio buttons and the toggle buttons, we could potentially listen to the selected and register something that's going to be called when selected changes. So any type of change, regardless of whether it is happening because of an action or because it was unselected, label text, equals RB1 uh, selection changed. And we can add on to there RB1 dot selected dot apply. We could do the same thing for the toggle button as well. And what will happen here, so that says that it's true when we click down here, the RB1 selection is changed to false. Okay, so that winds up getting called any time that this changes. 
Inevitably, it's actually happening twice when I click on here. We're getting the selection changed and we're also getting the action event. Okay, so both of those are registering because I'm setting the, the text on this instead of like printing something, I don't get to see both of them. But these are two different ways that we can interact with our buttons, either the on action for when the user actually clicks these things or the selected on change for when the selection changes through something else, probably through a toggle group.